In this video, we're gonna be showing you some of the cool things that you can do with UV activated ink. And thanks to Audible for sponsoring this video. This is what we've got in mind. We'll take our UV ink pens and our UV ink in the bottle and we'll try writing, painting, and spraying the ink onto several different surfaces. We'll see which ones show up the best, which ones glow best under a black light, and which ones seem the most permanent. To test this out, we have a few different methods. We have a couple of ball point pens that have UV ink in them, and then we also have a large bottle, and this is just eight ounces of glowing ink. This stuff is an alcohol-based ink, so it spreads really thinly, and we're gonna try using a paintbrush to apply that, as well as this thing, which lets you choose what liquid you wanna use, and then it sprays out just like a can of spray paint. First off, I think we need to do some tests to see what this ink looks like under normal lighting conditions, so we can see how different it is when we use the black light. These little ballpoint pens that I have are pretty nifty because not only do they come with black light ink, they also come with a small black light built right into the cap. I can press this button and it lights right up. This lets you write secret notes that wouldn't otherwise be visible. But if you and a friend both have the pens, you can write secret notes to each other and reveal them with the black light. Now for our first test, I just wrote a little bit on this white piece of paper. And of course, a white piece of paper is going to reflect the UV light pretty well. We also have a much larger black light that we can use to try and reveal our lettering. That certainly makes it more legible, at least in real life. On camera, it really has a hard time picking it up. The biggest issue is that the ink reflects in the same color as our white piece of paper. So let's try using a piece of colored paper and see if we have a better result. It's really easy to write secret notes using these things, and I think especially the best way to do it would be to write a plain text note and then a secret note below that. So you can see one note when you have normal light and a secondary note and you've got the black light added. Personally, what I think is one of the best uses for this is if you have a long or difficult password that you really struggle to remember, you can write it down using the UV ink and then write a distracting fake note right above that. So you've got a reason to have it on your computer, but you know that if you forgot your password, you have a way to look it up without it being broadcast to everyone. Although these pens are designed for writing on paper, you may find you have success writing on some other surfaces as well. Let's try a few. Well, we've tested on a few different surfaces. Let's see how permanent it is. Let's grab a wet cloth and see if that scrubs off or if it stays pretty much where we put it. Hmm, sure seems to be staying pretty well. Of course, I'm only using water, but that's not going anywhere. I think it may have worn down a little bit from all of that scrubbing, but not very much. Try the stuff on the back of my glove, where it says glove. Hmm, how about the smiley face on my arm? It rubs off of skin fairly well. There's still a little bit of marks, but I'm not sure if they show up very well on camera. Water doesn't do it. I think it's an alcohol-based ink, so let's see if we can get it off with rubbing alcohol. It takes a little bit of effort, but it does lift it off. Of course, that could just be that we're lifting the paint right off. Hmm, let's try it on my glove. Okay, that barely touched that, so I'm gonna say that even alcohol doesn't do a very good job of removing it, but it may do a good job of removing the paint that the ink is written on top of. Let's see if it does anything to the ink on my jeans. Seems to be picking up a little bit of it. It takes some of it out, but it's definitely still there in part. I've got this black poster board, which is a piece of foam with black paper on the outside, and I've discovered that the pens work really well on this surface. It shows up very nicely against the black, kind of like it does on a glove. Here I've written the word sunshine with the sun shining out of it because I have another test, and that's to see if we can look at this ink outside. Sunlight has quite a bit of UV rays in it, and I'm wondering if that's enough to let us see what we've written. First impressions when I look at it is that I can see something, and I'm not sure if that's from where the pressure of the pen was denting into the board, or if it's really reflecting the light. Since I wasn't sure if the pen had scratched into the board or if I was seeing the ink itself, I tried drawing this square on my glove 
because the pen doesn't leave physical marks in the gloves. Let's see if we can see that square out in the sunlight. Right off the bat, it looks like it's pretty visible. It's even reflecting a little bit, which makes me think that the ink might not be dry yet. I think this means if you know what to look for, this ink might be visible in bright sunlight, at least if it's freshly applied. We know these pens are pretty cool and they can write on a lot of surfaces, but let's see what we can do with this bottle of ink. This is a lot of ink, and I want to try applying it in a few different methods. First, I've got a paintbrush, and I want to see what happens if I just brush this onto a few of the same surfaces. Let's try some of this on my glove. It was extremely visible with the pen on my glove. I'm betting I have a similar result with the brush. Wow, that is a very bright glow. Now this stuff actually has warnings on it saying don't put it on your skin, but I'm gonna try it anyway. I'd say that shows up quite a bit, although because I'm brushing it on and this ink is really thin, it does bleed a little bit through the tiny little crevices in your skin. Shiza. Oops. Well, because I'm very clever, I just managed to spill about half an ounce of the liquid all over the workbench. Given my tests, this might stay glowing under a black light pretty much forever until we repaint the surface, not to mention my gloves. Amazingly, even with that much of the ink, when the black light is off, it looks pretty normal. But now I wanna see this in the sun as well, so let's try that out. I would say that the sun is definitely putting off enough UV light that you can see this. There's a clear change in color from black to navy blue. Well, our ink glows beautifully under a black light and it glows beautifully when it spills on the table and gets all over your gloves. I wanna see if we can use it to spray like a sort of hidden secret graffiti. So we're gonna try putting some of our ink into this spray bottle. This is a cool little thing that uses an aerosol sprayer to spray whatever you put down in this glass jar. And we're gonna try it with some of our glow ink. That looks pretty cool. All right, let's see how well this thing works. It's spraying something. Of course, my glove is already glowing, but that looks pretty neat. I'm not sure exactly what it's doing to the paint or not doing to the paint. Oops, I touched it earlier. But Grant said it's okay, so, you know. Ooh, that comes out a lot at a time. Looks like it's getting absorbed into the paint too. That works pretty well. It's not a super consistent spray, but it was definitely spraying out. And here's the thing, I'm really bad at graffiti. So I'm gonna try making a stencil and using that to spray onto stuff instead of just freehanding it. Our TKOR stencil, this should be fun. I think we'll be able to get a few different uses out of that. I made a little bridge connecting to the cutout part and the R, their space on the top and bottom. We'll see if that works. A Little bit of an experiment, but either way, this should give us what we're looking for, a stencil so we can spray this logo onto stuff, like the wall. Here goes. Ha! It worked. It's not the cleanest stencil ever, but that is definitely the logo. We tried using the stencil on a t-shirt as well, but it kind of got absorbed into the cloth and doesn't reflect very much. It's still visible a little bit, but not nearly as well as it works on the wall. Guys, we wanna take a minute to talk about the sponsor for today's video, Audible. 
Audible has the largest collection of audiobooks available, and it is a great service. I love Audible. The thing I listen to the most is science fiction and fantasy books, but I do like to branch out, and whenever I do, Audible's got me covered. They've got all sorts of things to listen to. There are two places I prefer to listen to Audible the most. The first is when I'm driving somewhere. Long drives can get kind of boring to me, but if I'm listening to something good, I look forward to it. The other is when I'm working on a build, I'm making something in my workshop, and there's some tedious parts to it, like if you're ever just sanding something. But throw in a pair of headphones and suddenly you are taking it away to whatever land your audiobook takes place in. It really makes it a much better experience. Audible also keeps track of what you're listening to and where in the track you are. So if you switch devices, it's not a problem. I can go from listening on my phone in my workshop to my computer on my desktop, and it's not gonna make any difference. To start your free 30-day trial and receive a free audiobook, go to audible.com slash thekingofrandom or text the King of Random to 500-500. Guys, the fun doesn't end here. We've got more for you to see. The box at the top will transport you directly to our last video and you should go check that out. The box at the bottom will show you what YouTube thinks you should be watching now. And this bomb here in the middle will subscribe you to the channel. That way you'll never miss a video. Don't forget to ring the bell and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.